calling all flock members. If you want to become truly elite, for just a dollar a month, you too can become an elite bad bird. Check out my Patreon account. Link is in the description. Hello, my flock and the elite bad birds member. We are here today to do the trailer reaction for the Captain Marvel movie. Uh, it came out today and I, I've got a special guest here from uh, his uh, blog that's on uh, the internet. Uh, you've seen him before, you know, I don't know if you remember, but he's my brother-in-law Lloyd and he knows a lot about comics. So I had to put him in this one because I needed somebody with some expertise on the actual Captain Marvel character from the comic books and better no better place than to ask him he's the aficionado on all the all comics in <laughs> this version of the groovy kind he can't remember what yeah it's called. uh yeah the version of the groovy kind is his uh blog if you want to check that out i'll put a link in the description to uh you can check that out on his his site he's got a ton of subscribers on his channel on his uh blog but let's get out of this anyway let's get into the actual trailer reaction to the captain marvel thing and we're going to play it right now invasion big car chase truth be told I was ready to hang it up till I met you today so you're not from around here it's hard to explain I keep having these memories I see flashes I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. We have no idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Uh, that had a lot of stuff in it. Okay. What's uh, your first reaction, Lloyd, to that trailer? Looks like it's going to be another good one. Um, It'll be good. I like the way they That's automatically, like when you said at the beginning, they definitely let you know you're in the 80s by yeah. having her uh, crash into a blockbuster. But you can, you know, no other way to get it there that fast that she's in the 80s time period. Uh, we see Samuel L. Jackson. He's got two eyes because he's... It's, he's DH. <laughs> they do that to us. I wish they could. I wish they could. Work uh, on that. But they even have, what's his name from... Um, uh, the TV show didn't they have him? Oh yeah, Coulson. Yeah, he was yeah. aged, or de-aged, in that too. Uh, showed a lot of outer space. Uh, I don't, I don't know anything about the. We'll get into the comic version here in a second, but we'll just kind of go over the actual what we saw on here. She's having looks like some kind of trouble. She's come either come from outer space, you know, like she's crashed at the beginning of it. She don't know whether she's alien, I guess, or uh, a earthling because she says she has memories from the uh, when she was a little girl or stuff maybe it looked like she was in the military or something at one time she was climbing on a rope well, she was a captain oh well makes sense it showed her in her suit her full body suit 
It was green. I don't know what the color of the actual character is. But there was the, two. One two. was green and in the comics it was white, but they were uh -huh. gray, green and black. And oh, that was a black? Blue. That was a red and blue? Okay, I didn't yeah. notice. I, th I thought it was the same color. I like the, I mean, the one thing I did like about it is uh, she kind of gave me the Superman vibe. What, what gave me the Superman vibe was because her being, looked like she's kind of from another planet type deal like him and having the powers that she looked like she had. And I don't know if she was flying and actually in his parts or not, but she, she definitely looked uh, like she was able to do some athletic stuff on there. Like the, the glowing eyes. Another, and it showed some other characters that looked kind of like her coming from a, a, another planet. And then one thing, it looked like her with a full body thing, I mean, a full head thing over her face. And it kind of looked like the Flash did in DC, but she was kind of like a gray or something. But she, gray. I assume that was her, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it looked like her mouth area. <laughs> but all them other characters, either she's part of a race or something, or part of a, an elite group, maybe in space. I don't know. But, <laughs> but is there anything about the trailer that you really stood out to you or gave you something that you maybe thought harks back to the comics mm. or something like that? Or There's a lot of stuff I can tell it's going to be a, like all the other Marvel movies, they're going to pull from all the all different, different versions stories, of the yeah. things like that and come up with their own thing. One thing I noticed, I don't know if you noticed the uh, green skin guys with the funky chins and the pointy ears. That was another race called the Skrull. That's oh. who they originally wanted in the first Avengers movie, but they didn't have the rights to it at that time because it was the Skrull were created for the Fantastic oh. Four. And they didn't have the rights back right. then. So you're thinking they're... And the other people in the armor that was similar to hers, those were Kree soldiers. She was a Kree soldier. That's another alien race. Oh, so she is alien. Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, this, I, mean, I don't you know. want to know. Well, I kind of, I didn't. Like, oh, go ahead. The movie and the comics may be alike in ways, and it may be not alike. I mean, you know, maybe totally different. Without giving it away, but do, like, when she was showing stuff where she was, uh, thinking she had a life here on Earth, that she'd been here before, and that, is that explained in the comics without giving it away much? Um, yeah, it's totally explained in the comics. That, so that didn't but yeah you, you kind of know what they're going with that you talk about a convoluted mm -hmm. character and backstory this one Marvel. is very because she's not the first captain marvel well that's what i was saying you were saying earlier that uh it's male it was a male version mm -hmm. that's I assume the first one law yeah that was him oh okay i was wondering exactly i was trying to think of his name it. yeah even though there were a lot of i don't know if it was rumors or speculation or false information when the first couple seasons of shield when they mm -hmm. had an alien then they were extracting the blood to heal people yeah that was supposed to have been captain marvel oh. the male captain marvel but obviously well no not too obviously because if this is set in the 80s or 90s or whatever it is it could still be him mm -hmm. so you've got that possibility that would still tie in with the shield tv series but there was a Captain Marvel in the 1940s, and that's the Shazam movie that's coming mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And in the 66 or 7, during the Batman camp craze thing, yeah. uh, a company came out with another version of Captain Marvel. Well, Marvel Comics had started at that time, and they weren't real crazy about somebody having a character named Captain Marvel. So they sued. They got the rights to the name to use it. Mm -hmm. And that's where the space-born Kree Captain Marvel that Jude Law is going to play came from. So you say they sued DC for it? No, it was another company in between. DC actually, yeah, that's what I'm actually, DC didn't. He, they didn't own the Shazam character. Okay. There was a, in the '40s. There was a company called Fawcett. Yeah, like Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, I don't know if they're relation or not, but <laughs> they came out with the character, and DC sued them because it was. They said it was rip off of Superman. Put them out of business. They were out selling Superman. In the early oh. 50s, they put them out of business. But in the early 70s, DC got the rights to the character that they'd sued out of <laughs> business. Mm -hmm. See what I mean by complicated? No, yeah. So in the meantime, Marvel's got the male version running around. The character... 
you got to know her name is Carol Danvers. You'll yeah. see that when you look. Well, she was uh, in the comics. She was a supporting character who had been in the military and had wor- and was working for at that time at Cape Canaveral, which they mm-hmm. just called the Cape. And then there was she got involved in some of his adventures and wound up some of his power being transferred to her. So that's probably what you're saying is that the, she's seeing the backstory. She's re, she's remembering that as uh, flashbacks mm-hmm. of, the, of that time and of before she she's actually transformed. Yeah. And then she somehow, I have no idea the, how. Uh, I've not read the comics, yeah. the modern version of them. I just know the 60s and 70s. Mm-hmm. So in 76, yeah. they came out with a comic called Ms. Marvel, a spinoff from the male version of Captain Marvel. It starred Carol Danvers as Ms. Marvel because it was the 70s. Mm-hmm. So they're, you know, got to be women's lib back then. She's so a Ms. It's kind of like a coming back around. Even though she's a female version, they even gave her a feminized, uh, it was pretty <laughs> controversial at the time, version of the male Captain Marvel's costume. Uh-huh. And then when it started off, when the, her series started off, she had amnesia when she was a superhero when she's in her carol danvers normal form she didn't know she was captain marvel when okay. or ms marvel then mm-hmm. and she when she was ms marvel she didn't know who Can- carol danvers was so they're going to play that <laughs> angle up in the movie i'm pretty sure well, it sounds like that's exactly kind of. what they're going to do because of like i said they're going to have the mr marvel and they're going to have her and they're going to have her amnesia and they're going to it it yeah, it looks like it's all inter, intertwined so they're there. Gonna, they're, what they're going to do is they're t- going to take a lot of the male version's backstory and graft it onto her and add it to her own backstory. So it's going to be, if you've read all the comics, it's going to be <laughs> more complicated than what the comics have been. But it'll, I'm sure it'll turn out to be a good movie. Okay, what kind of powers does she have in the comics? Well, in the comics that I read in the 70s, she could fly and oh, she, she can was fly. strong and she mm-hmm. was pretty tough skinned okay later on she she was changed into other versions and she had different sorts different power sets she was a character called binary who had star like powers where she could Mm -hmm. shoot fire blasts and and again they're going to combine all the different yeah since the 2000s there's been she's been updated again and i've not read any of those so you don't know where she's something i'm the groovy agent i read the 70s that's it yeah and um I don't know what all powers they've given her, but I'm pretty sure that they just keep adding to her powers and they'll do what they want to in the movie and make it pretty cool. Did you see the bad guy? Did you see the bad guy in the movie? Um, Is it the scrolls are the bad guys? The scrolls are, and there was one little scene of a guy that we saw in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, if you caught him. Is that that guy that kind of looked... Oh, was, it, was that him? Yeah, he was Kree. Well, that one, they kind of looked like the, kind of, there was one guy, a character they showed, looked kind of looked like one of the elves that they had fought in uh, one of the Thor movies. It showed it for a brief second. He kind of had pointed ears. Well, they're going to have all kinds of alien characters yeah. and other ones. But well, how far was he in the trailer before we showed him? I don't remember. It's the first time I've seen it. I know. I, okay. but, I don't know. I can't tell you that. But I do know this. Mm-hmm. It's the template they're going to use is the Kree Scroll War, which to Marvel fans is very famous it's it came out in 71 mm-hmm. and it pitted the kree race against the scroll race and the earth was caught in the middle and it was actually an avenger story so they're gonna it looks like they're gonna adapt that which is pretty special to me because up until that that point i was a batman fan mm-hmm. and i read comics mm-hmm. when i got hold of the kree scroll war when i was seven eight years old i became a comic book fanatic <laughs> oh, okay so that's that, what turned me on to being yeah so that's what's really going to be hopefully so this is going to be a big deal for me if they yeah stay they're not going to be able to stay true to that original story because the avengers yeah when this story happens don't exist so well, she's going to have to do all that other that's stuff. why one of my question was is how she fit into the avengers is she was she ever an avenger in the comics she became an avenger in the late 70s 79 80 somewhere there and again in another controversial storyline that everybody hated (laughs) which they won't touch with a 10-foot pole in this movie so there's no need to even bring it up except she was in there for a while it didn't turn out very well for her but later on in the 90s she became a full-fledged avenger she had her ups and downs until she became captain marvel and they decided to make her a star and now she can do everything 
and I know this is not related directly to this movie, but who has led the Avengers at certain times in the comic? I know, you know, was, was Iron Man a leader? Was yeah. he the leader? There was, a, there was a time during the era that I read them, the 60s and 70s, they rotated. Everybody took turns being chairman. Oh, they called okay. chairman. And they would take turns doing it. So everybody that was an Avenger up until the early 70s had a turn of leading the Avengers for whatever amount of time the writer felt like letting them do it. Okay. So yeah, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America. Hulk never oh, led them right. that I know of. For hmm. some reason, they didn't let the Hulk lead them. I don't know. Well, they just got the, well, because they wasn't intellectually smart enough. He just it? didn't have the temperament for it. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> uh, Hulk smash the Avengers. Uh, okay, let me think. Is there anything that you can think of that I haven't asked or is something that you just think oh, to I throw out there? things running through my mind, but I'd have to watch it a couple more times. Too. Yeah. Well. But as far as the first reaction, it looks like they're going to cover a whole lot of ground, which they always do. And so far, with very few exceptions, when Marvel's done a movie like this, I haven't been disappointed because, like I said, they are able to pull the best oh, yeah. pieces and uh, fit them, refit them. And make a really good. So you're not a purist. Where I can, I have if they change learn. one thing, they change a chair in the in the thing that you're going to say, "Oh I God!" I grew up in the going. 1970s when we finally got a Wonder Woman TV show. It's <laughs> Kathy Lee Crosby, and she yeah. was blonde, and her costume yeah. was, you know, I learned to live with things like that. Spider Man's web shooters and belt on the outside of his costume tore me up at that time. <laughs> We've come a long way since then. Yeah. So the things I've learned to separate the movie from the comics and enjoy them for what they are. Well, this is the guy I always talk about. If we watch a, a Marvel movie or DC or anything to do comic book wise, I always ask him how faithful it is. That's why the question came up about that and whether, because there's so many fanboys out there, and you all, everybody knows a fanboy of some sort. That if you don't, you should. Yeah, that do do take it. You know, they have. It's like in the Holy Bible. You know, you, you change one thing, and it's you know you destroy. I used your whole to be like that, but I mean, it, Michael Keaton yeah. changed all that for me. <laughs> I mean, it's like you said, why, why you explained it to me, it's it's the movie universe. It's not mm -hmm. the comic universe. Yep. So that's the way you can look at it and say, well, they're even though they're changing it, they're not, I mean, the comics are still here. It's yeah, always going to be the, the, the main part. So I, one thing I did like, really, I thought they did really cool on it was that the, showing her fist bundled up, everyone she, from a little girl to all, up, all the stuff that she faced and she's like getting ready to fight. I thought that was really cool how they focused in on the fist that she made. I thought that was really cool the way they yeah, jumped it. Her yeah, strength, her strength, how she's coming off. out. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I have nothing against a, a strong female character. I love the Wonder Woman movies in DC. The one movie that I think they got right in the DC universe. Uh, I have no problems with uh, uh, her leading the Avengers. I have no problems with her being stronger than some of the males. So, I mean, I only, only time I have any problems with uh, that kind of stuff in a, in a movie is when... They make all the the male characters idiots, <laughs> or, or they're just totally frail uh, beyond belief. I mean, I, I lost in space. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I, that's you know. But as far as that, she looks super cool. I, I'm all for a super cool uh, character like her. I've not, like I said, I don't know much about her, but I'm I'm really ready ready to watch it and give it a chance and see how good it's going. Because Marvel is is you know been, been batting a thousand as far as with all their. Uh, new characters what well, new characters but they're characters that they're bringing they're in new to you. they're new to me big time and a lot of other people and that's how i think marvel succeeds is they introduce a bunch of new um, fans to this because mm -hmm. you got your your comic book fans that's going to come no matter what and then uh, you, you need to be developing you know more fans and i think that they're doing a really good job on that that's all i got to think to say about it uh, unless you got anything else lloyd that you want to add to the make mine captain marvel <laughs> yeah it's coming out march 2019 and like i said it's got uh brie lawson as captain marvel and, and samuel jackson's back is what's his name nick fury nick fury and he has two eyes i'm so happy that's here with two eyes again glad uh, to see you too. <laughs> yeah, i guess he'll be glad to see that check because he's in every one of these movies uh and the one fella you said it was mr marvel Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain He's the first one. Uh, Jude Law. Jude Law. Yeah, Jude Law. Excellent actor. That's one thing I do like about Marvel. They always get really, really great actors uh, to play their parts. They don't. I'm not saying that you know that other places don't. I'm just saying that they really look for the uh, the Oscar 
caliber type of, um, actors, I think, to put in there. And if they're not Oscar, they've been a nominated or something, they always try to find the perfect fit and get really good actors for their movies. And I applaud them for that. So that'll wrap up this uh, um, trailer reaction for Captain Marvel. And I just want to say, uh, remember, we do have a Patreon account. And if you want to become a Leap by Bird member, Leap by Bird's member, we got one already. And uh, we would like to add you to that, just a dollar a month, and you can too. I'll, I'll send you a band to support the Bad Raven, and we'll put your name at the end of every video and say your name. So, and also, remember the Bad Raven is your friend, and we appreciate you watching all the videos out here. And like and subscribe and tell your friends, because we're, we're going to try to add more content as, as uh, the channel goes on. And we appreciate every uh, flop member and Elite Bad Bird. So, we're going to let you go, and we'll talk to you later, and goodbye. Bad Raven would like to thank the very first Elite Bad Birds member, the New York Dragon. Join him and support the Bad Raven channel.